Hey there guys, Chris with Min Media. In today's video, we're gonna do a full tutorial on how to use Koala Writer AI. This has been a crazy helpful tool that I've been using to publish tons and tons of content, and I think this is gonna be super valuable to you. All right, so step number one is to obviously get Koala Writer, right? Consider using the link in the description. It is my affiliate link, but we need to support creators, right? And what a lot of people don't actually know is that there's more to Koala Writer than just the writing part. I'll talk about some of these other cool features that it has after the tutorial on the writer part, but there's a lot to do. All right, so step number one was to sign up for Koala Writer. So then what you do once you're in the dashboard is click on the Koala Writer section and it brings you to the Koala Writer dashboard here. And these are the settings that you need to set up to have your article crafted or have it write content for you, right? So for the save presets, what you can do is create a custom preset, but probably do that after you get used to the tool a little bit. Just leave it on default for now. And then next, what we want to do is choose or create a project and all you have to do is name this so let's name this how to what, what should we name this project I'm gonna name it 3d printer comparison because I've been doing a lot of content on 3d printers and I'm actually gonna use one of my YouTube videos to create a article based on my YouTube video and then for the next setting it asks us to choose a chat GPT version so and I just go with the 3.5 you can go with the the 4.0 it's recommended it's faster but probably not a huge deal then the next setting is what type of article you want article writer to create for you and there's a lot to choose from uh, and again every couple weeks it's that they've been adding new features so we have a blog post a listicle a local places roundup amazon product roundup amazon single product reviews which i gotta say guys i've been that like that's a game changer for one of my blogs and then this one what we're gonna be using today is the youtube video to blog post it essentially takes a video and turns it into a blog post and then this one could be really helpful as well it will rewrite a blog post this is a little gray hat i don't know how you feel about it but you can take another blog post and it'll rewrite it in a different way so let's choose youtube video to blog blog post. So now I need to go find the URL of my YouTube video. So let's go to YouTube here, YouTube, and then I'm going to find a video from one of my channels here quick. All right. And here is the video I'm going to be using. It's essentially a video cross comparing two popular 3d printers. And I make a lot of content on this. So what I'm going to do once I've found the YouTube video, I'm going to copy the URL at the top of the page here. So copy that. And then I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to go back to Koala Writer where we want to paste, right click, paste this link here, and it will tell you we are able to access the video and its captions. And then the next feature it's asking for, the next setting is automatic internal linking. So if you're posting on a website or like a blog, this is really helpful because what you can do here is you can add internal linking for you. And if you don't know what I mean, this is a random website that I found on 3D printing and it's a blog, right? So if I go to the article here, it has internal links. See how you can click that? So what you do here is you would just put your website, the URL, you would copy it from your blog and then you would paste it here in the domain section. And then it would create the internal links based on other pages on your website, which is mind blowing. And then the next setting we have to choose is the tone of voice. We can choose excited, uh, professional, friendly. Honestly, every single time I go with SEO optimized because I tend to just create content that is going for SEO, right? Because we're trying to rank in Google. There's so much traffic there, so I'm gonna leave that at SEO. The language is obviously English. First person, I'm gonna go with third person. You can choose to write it however you want, but because this is for Google, and it's kind of like a review comparison of products, we're gonna stick to that. So then once we've created or we've set all these settings for the article here, all we have to do now is click on create article. And within a couple minutes here, all we have to do is, you know, it's putting, it's push, pushing out the article for me. It's absolutely crazy. And again, this video was on the comparison between these two 3D printers. So it's kind of like super dorky stuff, analytical comparisons. As you can see, the content is like super, like it's right on. I got to say, because I just shot the video. And the reason I'm using this today, what I use Koala Writer for is I go and create my YouTube videos, right? But then I publish those and then I also want to embed my YouTube videos on my blog with a surrounding article and I use Koala Writer for that. So then what I'll do here is I'll copy and paste this entire article, I'll go throw it on my blog and then I will embed my YouTube video on there and it boosts the rankings, guys. A little secret tip there. And again, the quality is there. 
Like, if you're wondering about the quality of content from Koala Rider, I gotta say it's there. And again, guys, consider using my affiliate link in the description just to give it a try. Like, there's a... Just give it a try. Like, it's a game changer. You can try it out for free using my link. Another huge question you might have is, does Google allow or does it like Koala Rider content? And I gotta say, my content is ranking. And this is my favorite AI writer on the planet right now, Koala AI is. So... I, you know, I can't, I'd like to show you real life examples, but I don't want to give away my personal blogs. And then what I would tend to do here is because the article has no like uh, images, what I'll tend to do sometimes is go to Koala images and I'll just have it create me images. This is the next cool feature that Koala Writer has. It's Koala images. And essentially what I do is just say, can you, can you create me an article or can you create me an image of someone 3D printing something? And again, I'll just do that. And then that way I can put these images in the article that I put on my blog. And it's super helpful. Sometimes the images aren't gonna be what you want them to be. But again, this is AI, everything's pretty new. Again, hit me up in the comments if you had any luck with AI image generators. What's your favorite one? This one works pretty well for me. See, like this one would definitely work. Like I just copy it, I would save this and then throw it on the blog. Maybe crop it a little bit, but that looks pretty cool, right? So I'd create my article using Koala Writer. Then I go in here and actually craft some images because it's super easy to do. And then also they have Koala Chat, which is essentially kind of like a chat GPT. You can ask it anything. And then it also has Koala Magnets, which are custom uh, GPTs you can put on a website, which is pretty cool, right? And if you're wondering about the pricing here, guys, um, the pricing is actually really cheap. I was blown away uh, in comparison to other AI writers. What I did was I started with a $9 a month plan just as like a baby, a step into it because you can just step into it. And it's 15,000 words per month, which, you know, it, it depends how much content you're looking to blast. I have since moved up to the starter because I want more content because I'm just pumping it out. That's the name of the game, guys. Another cool feature that I forgot to talk about was this essentially the addition to add AI images and YouTube videos into your articles. And what's really cool is you can do it automatically. You can add, if I click on images, what it'll tell you, it'll ask you what size you want to add and the max amount of images, which I should have just did that instead of using Koala, the Koala images feature because this will just embed them. I would say the, the sometimes the images aren't as great as they are as when you custom create them with custom commands, but they're still really good. And then you can have it add videos. You can add, you know, max videos. It can add other YouTube videos to make it seem more like organics to seem like you didn't like custom craft everything. This tool has deeply affected my content strategy. Like I told you guys, what I'm doing is I'm creating YouTube videos and then I'm using Koala AI Writer to create articles on my blog and then I embed my YouTube videos on there and I internal link everything and I put a fill links in there and it's the secret sauce guys i do this full time hit me up in the comments if you have any questions on koala writer consider using my dis consider using my link in the description for a free trial i will see you in the next one peace